Hey guys, Tom here. Welcome back to Happy Hour, International Happy Hour. And today we're going to Africa. Stick around. So obviously we're going to be making some drinks, either traditional that I could find or inspired by Zimbabwe. Now a little bit about Zimbabwe. I don't want to get too into the history and technical stuff with you, but if you don't know, Zimbabwe is a country in the Southern part of Africa. It's a landlocked country, which means it's an interior country. It doesn't have any water around it. It's between the Zambezi and the Limpopo rivers. The thing about Zimbabwe, there are 16 official languages. Predominantly, uh, they speak English and a couple of like African cult, uh, traditional languages. They were previously ruled by the United Kingdom. They declared independence from the United Kingdom in 1965. They became a republic in 1970, a couple more changes in the interim until the point where they got, they're working under the current constitution, which was uh, adopted in 2013. They have a population of a little over 16 million as of the last census. Uh, financially, they rely on the US dollar, the Zimbabwe currency. If you don't have it, they, this, they discontinued it uh, based, basically because of hyperinflation. It just became invaluable. And so they use the US dollar and they are predominantly a mining, agricultural, with some tourism for their economy. Now, let's make some Zimbabwean inspired drinks. And the first one I'm gonna make for you is called a Zulu Warrior. And it's real simple. It's just going to be equal parts of a few things. Um, first of all, it's going to be an equal parts. I'm going to go with an ounce each of vodka. I'm actually using some citrus vodka because there's citrus flavors in there. Melon liqueur. Your favorite melon liqueur strawberry liqueur and finally some lemon juice so it's an ounce of each vodka melon strawberry and lemon Just gonna take those things in the trusty shaker and do what we do. Going all over the place. All right, I'm gonna call that shaken up enough because I'm not getting a good seal for some reason. I'm gonna garnish with a strawberry. And the first drink today in our tour of Africa, Southern Africa, particularly in Zimbabwe, is the Zulu Warrior. Next up is a real simple drink, and it's called an African highball. And we can build it right in the glass. So if you remember from a previous happy hour, highball is just liquor and a mixer. This actually has two liquors, so it's really more of a cocktail, but I'm calling it a highball. And it starts with an ounce of coconut rum, good coconut rum. Favorite coconut rum. Or that's a little bit of a stiff ounce, but that's okay. And then we need some blue curacao. About half that amount. So 
a little over a half ounce. And then I'm just going to give that a little mix. And then just top it off with your favorite ginger ale. You could use ginger ale, Sprite, lemon soda, whatever you have. And then it doesn't necessarily call for a lemon, but just to doctor it up a little bit. And that's number two, the African highball. That's two great drinks already. Let's move right on to a third. Another easy one that you build right in the glass, and that is an African shandy. So, as you may or may not remember from different drinks, a shandy is basically a, uh, a combination of beer and um, uh, lemon, but this one is kind of similar, and that is some citrus vodka, a couple ounces, because that's all that's going in this big tall drink. And then I need a couple drops of bitters. I'm gonna put in some lemonade. And then I'm gonna fill it up. You can use ginger beer, ginger ale. I'm just gonna use some ginger ale because that's what I have. But ginger ale would be great in this. And if that doesn't look like a refreshing drink for one of those hot African days, and I'm sure it gets blistering down there. A nice, big, refreshing African shandy. So I saved the best for last, but come on guys, if you haven't already, you see what a great time we have here at Happy Hour. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the little bell, so that way when a new Happy Hour or a new project comes out, you'll be notified, you can catch it right away. So this last one is interesting, and it's called, or at least I'm calling it, a mezzo fizz. Now, <clears throat> mezzo is kind of interesting. It's, it's, um, the soda or the soft drinks there, they come in big jugs as concentrate and you mix them. And they have all different ones, <clears throat> uh, you know, flavored uh, fruits, you know, coals, that kind of thing. And they have one that's uh, green. And the green one is actually the cream, cream soda flavored. Now we can't get Mezo, it's, I think it's made by Schweppes, but we, I, I've not found it here, but I, I thought I would kind of do my take on it. It's like an apple and a, you know, apple and vanilla drink from, you know, vanilla from the cream, but they have apple in it. So I, I'm kind of uh, doing my take on that drink. And it starts with, you can use vanilla vodka I'm actually using some vanilla rum, and I want an ounce of that. So we're gonna just build vanilla and apple flavors. So next, we need some apple. And for that, and I'm also gonna get my green out of that because the cream soda we have here is not green. So I'm gonna use, although this isn't super green, this drink is probably actually gonna be more brownish yellow than green. But hey, the flavor's gonna be there and it's gonna be really good. So then I'm gonna put a little, uh, app. I'm using hard apple cider. You can use regular, regular cider, uh, try to get clear if you do, or just regular apple juice. Truth be told, I thought I had apple juice in the house and I didn't, so I'm just using the cider. I'm gonna give that a little mix. I'm gonna get my tall glass filled with ice. 
And then I just need to save a little room for some cream soda. Now, obviously this isn't green, but the flavors are there and they're gonna be phenomenal. Apple, vanilla. I mean, it's weird, like a, like a very hot climate like that. Who'd, who'd have thought they'd have come up with such a, what I consider a fall flavor explosion type of drink. But there you have it, your Zimbabwe Mezo Fizz. There you have it guys, we've explored Zimbabwe in Southern Africa, a country with a lot going for it. And if these flavors are anything representative of what they got going on, you know, try it. It's, I think they're all really great and they're each kind of an individual flavor unto themselves. So like I always tell you, try one, try them all. But if you're gonna try them, try them responsibly so you can come back each and every week right here at Happy Hour. And until I see you again, remember, take care of yourself and your home. Cheers to Zimbabwe.